In this video you will learn what the concept of work in electric circuits is all about and how work and kinetic energy are connected to each other. You will also learn what relates work with voltage and why the well-known power law which states that power equals voltage times current follows almost automatically from this relationship. And as always there's going to be a summary of the most important facts at the end of this video for you. So stay tuned. And my name is Andreas from The Fearless Engineer and as always here we go. Now let us start with a brief definition of the concept of work. And if you look up uh, this expression on Wikipedia, uh, you will find that it says there that in physics, work is the energy which is transferred to or from an object via the application of force along a certain displacement along a certain path. And in its simplest form, work is often represented as the product of force and the length of this path, the, the length of this displacement. And before we dive deeper into this concept, let's quickly recap some key ideas which we have discussed before in previous videos. And the first is that electric charges in a circuit that they experience a force effect which is transmitted by the electric field, which might be generated, for example, by a battery. And depending on the position of a charge in this electric field, uh, the charge has a potential energy, which is an analogy to a mass hanging somewhere or being positioned somewhere in the Earth's gravitational field. You might recall this example with an apple hanging from a tree in a certain height, and depending on both the mass and as well as, as the height of the apple, um, it has a certain potential energy. And with charges, it's very, very similar. Um, a charge inside an electric field has a certain potential energy depending on its position in this field. And if a charge moves from a higher to a lower potential in this electric field, a part of this potential energy depending on the length of the motion is converted into kinetic energy. So the electric field causes a charge to move from one position to the next and it transfers potential energy uh, into kinetic energy. It converts uh, one energy form into another energy form. And on this slide you can see the example uh, with the apple hanging from a tree in a small, in a small drawing here. You can see um, a tree and the apple hanging in a certain height above ground and at the, in this position its velocity um, is zero. It's still hanging from the tree. Uh, from the tree. And uh, the mass of the apple is subjected to um, a force which is caused by the pull of the gravitational field uh, which is of course directed downwards. And we can compute uh, the potential energy of this uh, apple by uh, computing the product of mass of the apple, strength of the gravitational field and uh, the height of the apple, apple above ground. This gives us the potential energy of the apple in relation to its height above ground. And we can do a very similar thing with the potential energy of a charge inside an electrical field. Uh, we can compute it as the product of um, charge strength of the electric field and length uh, in terms of the distance from a terminal of let's say a battery. And we can easily see that the charge um, corresponds to the mass of the apple, that the electric field corresponds to the gravitational field of the earth and that the length corresponds to the height of the apple above ground. And in the case of this charge it's simply the distance between the current position of the charge and the distance to the terminal. And the another difference, uh, or one key difference here, is that the charge is um, moving against the direction of the field. The field is pointing from the positive terminal of the battery towards the negative terminal and the charge will be moving, it's, it's a negative charge, will be moving towards the positive terminal. But apart from this, different, uh, the, from this difference, basically the concept of potential energy between these two cases is very, very similar. Now let's briefly talk about the concepts of work and kinetic energy. Uh, if a charge changes its position somewhere in the electric field, we can say that work is performed on this charge and kinetic energy is transferred. You can see, see the same diagram as before, but now with a second charge here at a position L2, and due to the conservation of energy, which states that no energy is lost, we can now say that the energy at position L1 is composed of the potential energy at position number two plus the kinetic energy um, which the charge now possesses once it has been put into motion by the electric field. So the potential energy at position number two is smaller than the potential energy at position number one and the sum of the smaller potential energy and uh, the kinetic energy makes up for the 
potential energy at the previous position. Think again about the apple. The apple in a height of two meters, still hanging from a tree with a velocity of zero, has a potential energy um, of, of L1, uh, so height above ground at position number one. Now it falls off the tree to a lower position, let's say from two meters to one meter. At one meter it still has a potential energy, which is um, this, uh, this parameter here. But in addition to being at a new position of a lower potential energy, it also has a velocity, and this velocity causes it to have a kinetic energy portion. And this is meant by this term here. And this equation tells us um, that energy can only be converted into other forms. And this proce process of putting the charge into motion means that work has been performed on the charge using a portion of its potential energy and converting it into kinetic energy. And this is what we call work. So work in this sense is the portion of kinetic energy which has been transferred to a charge by reducing its potential energy and putting it into motion. Now let's briefly discuss the concept of voltage drop in relation to work being performed. We have already seen in the module on the concept of voltage that uh, energy is the product of charge, length and electric field, which is given by this equation here. So the potential energy of a charge is given by the product of charge, electric field and length. And we can elaborate on this concept by saying that the length L can also be a delta length. So if we move a charge carrier from one position to the next, we move it over a certain distance delta L and this distance delta L can be inserted here. So we say that if we invest a part of the potential energy of the charge at this position um, to and transfer it or convert it into kinetic energy, this kinetic energy is then spent on moving the charge to a second position L2. We can thus call the potential energy if we replace L by delta L, we can thus call it work according to the previous slide we have seen. So we can say that the amount of kinetic energy a work uh, a charge um, possesses is the product of um, size of the charge, strength of the field, and the length over which it has been moved. And we have already seen in the module on voltage that this product here is nothing more than the voltage drop between two positions. So if we want to uh, know how much kinetic energy a charge possess possesses, we only need the amount of charge and the voltage drop between the two positions uh, uh, between uh, which the charge moves from, from one position to the next. And this expression here is is a very important step on our way to deriving the power law which uh, relates uh, power with uh, current and voltage drop. Now let's quickly summarize the main points of this uh, short video here. We have seen that the concept of potential energy in the Earth's gravitational field can be transferred, can be applied to the processes we can observe in the electric field. We have already uh, also seen that if a charge changes its position in the electric field, work is being performed on the charge and potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. And this is also what we call work in the sense in which we want to um, use it to uh, to arrive at the, perform at the power law in one of the next videos. And lastly, work in an electric circuit is defined as the product of the quantity of a charge and also the potential difference between the two points uh, from, from between, between which it moves. And this potential difference is also called the voltage. And as, as said on the last slide, this relation here, this last relation, is a very important step on deriving the actual power law, which is well known from physics classes in school. Now let's quickly summarize the main points you have learned in this video here. The first is that the concept of potential energy in the Earth's gravitational field, remember the example with the apple hanging on the tree, that this concept can be applied to the processes happening in the electric field as, as well in a very similar manner. And secondly, if a charge changes its position in such an electric field, work is being performed on the charge and its potential energy is converted into motion, which means kinetic energy. And lastly, we have seen that work in an electric circuit is defined as the product of the quantity of charge and the potential difference between two points, which is the same as the expression of voltage, which we have talked about before. That's all for now. If you have any questions related to this video, don't hesitate to drop me a comment down below in the comment section. Also, if you have any suggestions for future videos which you want me to make, please also leave a comment here. I wish you a nice day now. All the best and see you next time here on The Fearless Engineer.